Thank you. Now on to the... You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose this thing because these two guys don't need this thing, right? They're chilled out, they're relaxed. And first of all, when we moved into the US market, we wanted entertaining fighters. We wanted great fighters, elite fighters, people that I believe could go on and dominate divisions. And in Demetrius Andrade, I think we have just that. This fight is one of the best fights to be made, not just in the middleweight division, but in boxing. Two of the very best 160 pounders out there. Billy Joe is one of the great, great middleweights right now, the reigning WBO world champion. He's from England. But right now, our boy Demetrius Andrade is here to try and become a three-time champion of the world. He looks good, he can fight good. Ladies and gentlemen, from Providence, but today from Boston, a big round of applause for the challenger for the WBO middleweight championship of the world, Demetrius Andrade. Oh, this is sexy. <laughs> now we're looking. <laughs> Don't throw them pants in the crowd, Demetrius. Tall, black, and handsome is here, yes. And good thing I can fight too. But um, yeah, man, it's it's definitely going to be an honor fighting at the Garden, man. It's, it's big. Celtics, the Bruins, Boston. The biggest fight for fans, the biggest sports supporters out here. And we're giving you guys the best fight of boxing. This year, October 20th, you have to be there. You have to see it. For those who don't know, Billy Joe Saunders, yes, he is a great fighter. South poor, undefeated, you know, ugly looking. <laughs> but he can fight. Good record, yes, he is. 27 and 0. Hey! Hey, sounds good, sounds good. The red coats are here. <laughs> but your boy Demetrius Andre always comes through. Never have I failed to come out without the victory. We both failed in Olympic Games. I got cheated. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> You're lucky you wasn't in my way because I would have. I was in your way. I was in your way. I was. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> they seen me. You see me on the 20th looking at you. Don't yeah, worry definitely, about that. definitely, definitely. But um, yeah, man, it's definitely you know. Uh, it's, look at this guy. He's he's entertaining himself. You know, it's gonna be an entertaining fight leading up to the fight. You know, um, I'm just I'm just glad to be here working with Eddie Hearns. Man, he's doing great things out here. He's bringing boxing to where it needs to be at this highest level when you compete with other sports like football, basketball, baseball, etc. But none of them sports is like boxing. It takes one. It's only you, and the best man's gonna win, and that's it. I'll take over for me. Sit down. Billy, just Listen, go. go ahead. I, first of all, I've got to give the man respect. Got to give him credit. Got to give his full team credit. I'd like to thank the Zone, Eddie Earn for putting this show on. Such a big fight. Listen, you. The, the two main men at the weight at the minute is Golovkin and Canelo, and to be fair, that neither of them, you know, really wanna, really wanna fight me or this man. To be personal, there is a smoke and mist. That's because you run a lot. And there is a smoke and a mist around the middleweight division. And when it clears up, I'll be standing there. But I just want to point out one thing. I don't know if this man's come as Karate Kid today or Papa Smurf. Um, but like I say, I'll, I'll, I'll give him credit and say Karate Kid. He's got them lovely boots on as well. I'm, sh I'm sure them spindle legs can carry them heavy boots. But listen, what I want to say is, listen, all jokes aside, all bullshit, all trash talk, this is going to be a very, very good fight. Do anybody really want to fight Demetrius Andre, Golovkin, Canelo, Jacobs, etc.? No. Do anybody want to fight me? No. It seems that me and this man have to fight to prove, to see who the number one is. I believe that sitting here now, and I'm not saying because he's sitting there or I'm sitting there, because I bum lick or ass lick nobody, but technically we are the two best in the division. And the winner of this fight will be proved to be number one, like I say. And I know for 100% fact, like he said, he's never failed, he's never done this. We're the same age, roughly, he's 30, I'm 28, but I'm world champion. I've been a little bit more, more active than him. I've, I've boxed better opposition than him. You know, I am, the, I will be the number one, but to prove that, Who you I, fight? I have to beat this man. Who did you fight? I have fight? to beat this man. Name one person you fought. But the only, the only good record David Lemieux? Got, yeah, David Lemieux. He was, David Lemieux's a bum. Size. He's a bum. David Lemieux's a bum. David Lemieux is a bum. He's not worth, he's not worth talking about. I don't take no credit for beating David Lemieux because someone can't beat a little midget this big then they're doing something wrong so that's all I'm saying 
Yeah, but what I'm saying is that I've been in with world class opposition. It's funny. They all go on about Chris Eubank, another one, I dealt with him. They go on about Andy Lee, I dealt with him. William Monroe, no heart, no bottle, no desire to win. But that's one thing I've got is desire. But before I would sign up to lose this fight, on my kid's life, I'd rather I'd rather die in a plane crash on the way home than lose to this man. Because there's too much at stake. I am number one and I will prove it. But thank you very much to Boston. Thank you very much to Matchroom. Thank you very much to all of you boys. And I'll see you all on the night. And you all cheer me on. Boston can pick me up for the night. Let's go. Yeah, they're going to pick you up from the floor. The ambulance is going to come through. Pick me up. They're going to pick you up. The ambulance, when I get done with you. Ooh. Sounds good. Sounds good. I just don't want to see none of this, yeah? Karate Kid. It sounds good, but we all know who's going to stay on top. Nah, That's listen, me. listen, listen. You were stand on top because you ain't boxed for a year. I can't remember the last time you boxed. When did you box? You boxed for a year? Eight years, eight months it's ago. About eight, eight it's months about the same time. It's about the same time. Eight months and 12 months. There's a bit of difference. There's a bit of difference. Okay, so therefore you should have no excuses. All right, can right? I ask you a question? Who's the best person you beat? The best person I beat? Yeah. It's okay. going to be you. No, no, no. I oh, know. It's going no, to be no, you. To this day, to this day, who is the best you? Who is the best you beat? Yes, Varnish. How many losses did he have? None. No? Oh, 33, you know, with 30 knockouts. Oh, yeah, yeah, good, 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 okay. But you are going down, good, my good, friend. Good, good. You are going down, boy. I'm going to show you, I'm going to school you. I was, and listen, for all you fans, do you know the little miss? Do you know the little miss? The little, oh, we'll do this when I box him. You will see it. You will see it. I'll do it for Show up, show up, because your boy is going to put this boy out. That's what I'm saying. Show up. You're from, from Providence. These are from Boston. But These listen, are Bostoners. Real quick, real quick. I want to shout out. I want to shout out a few people real quick in the audience that I see. You know what I'm saying? Some other boxers that put their life on the line. You know what I'm saying? Alex Rivera, Rashida Ellis over there in the back, undefeated. That man right there got fast hands. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Conception, he's one to know. You know what I'm saying? There you go. You know what I mean? We got Anthony Marcella. Anthony Marcella, undefeated fight, fighter two from your hometown. These are the other people that's in this crowd that support boxing, that is boxing. And you also look into these guys' people. Also look into these guys' people. These people. Listen, too. the main thing is that both of us come out the ring safe. That's the main thing. Number one. Oh yeah. Oh, number two. Abraham. Number two. Abraham, my bad. Abraham, right there. Abraham, Abraham my bad. Oh, God, oh, yeah. Abraham. Guys, just a quick. And I would say, all the sexy women out there. I'll give you all the shout as well. All the good looking women, you know where you're at. All hello. There you are. You there. You there, the sexiest of them all. You there. That's the one. I want you. I want you. Vote Demetrius Andre. He's tall, black, and handsome. Where are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Look like somebody smacked some shit on his face. Where are you from? Cambridge, Massachusetts. Who do you want to win? You. One nil.